Hi guys, I'm Ryan and today I will be giving you a tour of the features in Samurai or Samurai. The pronunciation is, is correct. Um, currently I'm logged in as a pro user as you can see by the fancy icon in the top corner. Uh, the first feature we can demo is the dark mode. So whatever your preference is, you can read the summaries in dark mode or not. Um, Summer AI is basically a book summary app that has a collection of 9,000 books. Most of them are nonfiction, with a small percentage of them being fiction. Um, most of the summaries have been pulled from ChatGPT and other large language models. Uh, depending on which ones are available. Uh, so I'll give you a sample of it now so we can search for a book. You can search for Atomic Habits. So once you open up the book, you can add it to your backlog. Um, there's a small description of the book followed by the three minute summary. The book is also available in audio form, as you can see now. Atomic Habits by James Clear Overview. Atomic Habits by James Clear is a practical. This is a, this is the text to speech generation that is done via OpenAI's API. So it's pretty high quality. The pro users are able to generate this. If the book summary is not available in the OpenAI text-to-speech, the, browser, the browser's text-to-speech will be triggered. And I'll show you that next. Um, Another feature is the long form summaries. So there's two versions. You got the short, too long, didn't read, three minute summary. And you got the long, if you wanna do a deep dive, um, we got the full summary that ranges up to an hour or so. If the summary is not generated, it normally takes around two minutes to generate. This is because we have to chain our prompts uh, to avoid duplication. We found that when we prompt the various chapters in parallel, we ended up getting a lot of duplication between the chapters. So we feed in the previous chapter's context into the next chapter, which is why it's, it's currently taking around, around two minutes. Then at the bottom, you also have some AI generated question and answers. Um, then once you are done, you can mark it as read. If you go back home, you now see the dashboard has been updated with your stats. So you got some nice pretty dashboard widgets that can show your, your progress over time. Um, let me show you how the browser text to speech works. So this is, this is Microsoft Edge. So currently there's no open AI generated, uh, audio file. So we can just kind of default to the browsers one. Setting the table, the transforming power of hospitality in business. Author, Danny Meyer. Setting the table is a part The quality is pretty high, if not equal to the open AI's generated audio file. Uh, but this is exclusive to Microsoft Edge, so you won't find this feature in Chrome and other browsers. Uh, 
next I want to show you the book discovery so you can browse through all 9,000 books um, in the all books uh, tab by default it will load at random to get you exposed to more of the collection and you can slowly start building your backlog but if you want to be more if you want to be more organized and have a more more like methodical approach to find books you can sort them by title or the number of pages or the date released you can also find books by category or author so let's say we're looking for science books So let's say we're looking for science books and we want to go to computer science and we want to mark this as favorite. Then now this category will show up at the top. So it's easier to filter uh, the next time you come to visit the screen. Um, And then another feature is that once you have flagged a book, um, the color of the tab or the thumbnail will change. So if I just go back here, you can check it's blue for being marked um, on your backlog. Um, if you have marked it as red, it will show up as green. And if you mark it as favorite, it will show up as yellow. Like so. The same thing will apply for authors as well. So you can filter by, so you at the categories and say you want uh, Jordan Patterson. You can also filter by author. The last two features I want to show you is the randomize. So you can just jump to a random book or a random category. At the bottom you have your collection so anything you flagged along the way will show up in your collection. And that will and that is it. Hope you guys enjoy the app. Please let me know what features you would like to be added in the comments below. Thank you.